He's all the way awkward and uncomfy in any way. Alexi, AZ, we call AZ, DB. We got DB and AZ in here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering who is responsible for this unique and uncommon commentary that you're getting on Fight Time, oh, no, no, no. This is not what you've seen in the past, that or heard for sure. Oh, no, no, no. My name is Savvy Sinclair. Alongside me, as always, is none other than Steve T. But you call him Steve Taylor. And if you're ever in Toledo, catch him on the weekends on the keyboard, lead singer. And I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> but the band is named In Touch, so find out where they'll be appearing next. Had Typically, it's Club Soda. Had a Glass chance. City, USA. I had a chance to hang out with those, that Bob Marley guy you was talking about. Right. Well, the band that he, to, that he made, the Whalers. Uh-huh. I was with them on Wednesday night. Okay. So you love that, for sure. Love the reggae You thing. blacked out. I know you did. Love the reggae thing. Oh, look, as we get Clarissa Shields, where's oh, our guy? Well, we, uh oh, Clarissa Shields oh, is, is on it. You we're see getting the an entrance. We're okay. getting an entrance. Oh, what, what is it? What are we doing here? What we got going? Oh, I know my guy. Where my people at in the truck? Where we at? Because we got to see what, what what's happening here. What we got going here? Deep bank. 313, another another uh home presentation, ladies and gentlemen. For the for your athletic pleasure as we here we go. Finally got eyes on the situation. So it's our co main event. Everyone waiting for the entrance of Demetrius Banks. D Banks already gave us the lyrics before he said I'm I'm coming down. No, he gave us the whole set. Yeah, that would I would categorize it as more of a soliloquy the, the, or such or the, something like that. Hey, back in our time, we would call that the album version. <laughs> the 12 inch, the 12, that wasn't the 12 inch. Steve, he says the album. That wasn't the 12 inch. Young people, Google 12 inch vinyl, because we know that's a struggle. We know it's serious. We like to thank everybody, though, who helps us make this happen. All of our fine and established, talented professionals working in the truck, all of those guys and gals out there working hard to bring you a, a fine product here in conjunction in association right. with Fight Time. We thank right, you so right, much. We're going to bring them out one time. Oh, okay, okay. Pete Trevino said we're going to do it again. We're, we're doing it again, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. This time, minus the Demetrius lyrics. Demetrius Banks! Here he is, DB. Here we go. Music. Oh, now, they, now we don't have the music cue now? Well, hmm. no, he's got, he, he's got, a, it's going to be the remix now. Okay. The remix of the album version. With... While he made it, while he was making the 12 inch. I got you. Now, here we go. We have an entrance of dramatic proportions. Uh oh, here we go. Now you get a look at it. Paper stream on the ring walk. Big Sean, here we go. 313, DB on the spot, L I V E. Yes, Steve and me. Okay, I'll take microphone, do my spot. Okay, you know we coming through. Yes means we can't be stopped. Ha, ah, fight time. Where are they doing it at? Mike, man, huh? Your announcers, commentators, yeah. What's the plan? Whoa, who would do, do that? It's not that Berman thing. Code sale? Oh, no, this is the brand new man, the king. Ha, ah, 419, 313, what it do? That's right. Hey, hello, me to you, live. Paper stream. Demetrius Banks, he is on the scene. As he makes his appearance. Coming and that's his man, through. Wade. Look at Wade in there with the green cap. Look at Wade. That boy is a bad boy right there in that green cap coming through. 
D Banks, we see you. Okay. We see it, Wade. We see it. Come through. What up, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's fight time. You don't know how we'll do it. We will go corporate, though. We will switch back to conference room in a flash. Don't get that misunderstood. There he is, though. Undefeated record in here right now. 14 and 1, though. Facing 14 and 1. When Zuboff shows up. His opponent, USSR. What? Making his way out to the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Alexi Zuboff. And there you have that. 14 and 1 about to walk down on you. Look at him real quick. He didn't waste time. I don't have to take, do all the delay. Well, he's been ready. Look at it. Ivan Drago like. Look at the look at the Ivan Drago energy on it. Kronk Detroit, I told you that. I told you that, folks. I told you that Alexi is no stranger to the gravel nature of things. Call that the street, pavement style. He's a big boy. He Cruiser is. weights is what we're about to do, ladies and gentlemen. This one will be 10, though. They want to put some cushion in between things before Clarissa shows up. Because I hear Clarissa's coming, though. They Somebody told me that she was going to show up tonight. Oh, she's made an appearance already. And Sydney LeBlanc, she was here, too. So, Well, well Sydney you know, LeBlanc, well, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about that We'll as get to that approaches. in a moment. Right but, now, but, though, but Cruiser weights. And what, and what I'm seeing out of Alexi Zuboff, a lot of lower body strength. If you look at the legs on his guy, and they're like tree trunks. Co-main event, here we go. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed in gold. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 195.4 pounds. He comes to the ring representing the world's best boxing gym and relentless determination with the fighting style of water like Bruce Lee. He comes to the ring undefeated with a record of nine wins and no losses with four of those big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is the messenger, Dimitri Hills Banks. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the traditional crunk gold trunks, standing six feet one inch tall. He weighed in at 197.4 pounds. He comes to the ring representing Detroit's legendary croc boxing team with a record of 14 wins and only one loss with nine of those big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan by way of Magnitogorsk, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Alexi! Zuboff! Referee Ron Cunningham with fight instructions. Listen to my command. Obey my command. That line here is good. I'm going to give you the top of the trunks there, okay? Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this cruiserweight matchup will be decided in 10 rounds. And there you have it. You heard Pete Trevino once again, ladies and gentlemen. Ten rounds this time or less. Fight time live. Detroit Brawl. Thank you. Savvy Sinclair. Steve Taylor. Demetrius Banks in the white. Alexi Zuboff in the crunk gold. Time for business. Big boys. Somebody typically gets laid down this in is, these situations. This Steve. is going to be interesting. The look, I can't quite determine the look that Zuboff had. That's either not good or not good. And I mean that for either guy. Certainly clear early on that there will be some thunder levied here. And as I said, the possibility of significant injury to someone's dome, meaning their cranium. 
is highly probable. Left jab there from Banks. One, two from Alexi. Banks not, not exuding a lot of energy right now. Just measuring his opponent. Banks reaches out with a lazy jab and catches one back for it, for his troubles. Banks content to, to remain the retaliation man. Showing you some patience here though. Zuboff seemed very intent though to try to establish himself early. You like the work there, nice combination. And there's Banks. There's Banks again. Still with the jab. Jab downstairs. Couple of straight rights from Zuboff. Now he'll fire again. Double, triple game off the jab, followed by the right hand. Banks still surveying. Will fire though. Body shot scored by Zuboff. Banks just kind of laying out that lazy left hand. He's got to be careful. He'll catch a right hand over the top of that. Zuboff and the punching power fairly evident, though, here at ringside. You can almost feel that. But Banks looks like he's going to be in a world of trouble if he allows this sort of assault to continue, though. Oh, straight over the top, though. That right hand was crisp and clean from Zuboff. But Zuboff has been the aggressor thus far. Banks certainly not going to be in a situation where he can afford to wait for, for whatever mistake maybe he's looking for from Zuboff because Zuboff is going to continue to bring that work, and that is very evident here in round number one. And there's the first one in the book, Steve Taylor. What do you say? I mean, well, due to the, the to, to the lack, lack of lack action of, uh, yeah, from I, Banks, yeah. you got to give it to Zuboff. So that's clear. That's the obvious outcome or conclusion that you would expect from T Steve Taylor. As we get set for round two here, thank you to all of the fine and talented individuals working tonight to put this this car together live inside the masonic as well as those joining us here on fight time all of our uh, again hard working men and women Everybody in the truck bringing you the sights and sounds two. here steve taylor and myself savvy sinclair just along for the ride ladies and gentlemen Second hoping that we can Second give you a an accurate description Two, and one that you enjoy, two. round number two. But I expect Banks to be more aggressive this round, be more busy. You can certainly say that again, Steve Taylor, because Zuboff, as we mentioned, first round, bringing the fight. You like that one, two right there uh, upstairs from Zuboff. And they both of them scored. Very precise, too. Very athletic. Zuboff a little more athletic than you might expect if you watch him walk in and things like that, and maybe if you make your judgments that way. But this man has got some spring, and he's got some pop, too. Certainly the power, but you'd expect that. Again, these are cruiserweights. That's no surprise. i tell you, Sam, if Banks continues to reach lazily with that left hand, he's going to catch something. His, his corner continues to warn him about that. And, and, and I'm surprised about that, Steve. When you talk about a man who's in here, again, 9-0, four KOs himself, so almost at a half, a 50% clip, you know, it's, it's a little, like I said, surprising that he's not mounting more of a surge in, in the face of, again, what is a very obvious, straightforward attack from Zuboff. And Zuboff there again, one, two, and lands again with the short right, and now there's the left hand. With, with Zuboff very, very aggressive, being in and out. A lot of movement by Zuboff. He's establishing his jab, and what he's doing is putting all his work in off of that jab. 
And he's really keeping Banks off balance. Extremely efficient, too. You could say Zubov not wasting punches. Everything he's throwing, though, calculated. That's clear. Look at this. Banks still appears to be hesitant overall. And you know, this is very strange, Steve. I hate to make this reference, but it just dawned on me. I can't believe I didn't catch it, especially the way that Banks is fighting right now. The white gloves, the Russian <laughs> opponent. <laughs> oh, uh, dare I say. Dare, <laughs> I, 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 I never like the white gloves, as you know, Steve. I always hate to see those come out. And Banks in front of the home crowd right now, not to the liking of the capacity crowd. And what you're starting to see is Zubov starting to settle down. Right. Like he's very comfortable in there. Absolutely. Look at this, though. Look at that downstairs chopping going on. Then look at him come up top with the hook. Then right there, straight right. Left jab again. Look at him hook downstairs. And that up, I see him setting the uppercut. I would hate to see one of the uppercuts that he seems to be plotting. One, two, right followed by the left. Zubov hooking with the left now. Banks just trying to cover. Nothing serious going on his way. And now you look at this, hands starting to be let go. That's the end of round two. Alexei Zubov will give you his second round. Why do I need to ask Steve that? Redundant yeah. questions are ridiculous on the air. Well, I tell you, Zubov, the aggressive fighter, doing a good job at, at really keeping the pressure on. Got a 10-9 Zubov, 20 to 18 thus far for Alexi Zubov. Alexi Zubov coming in 14 and one, nine knockouts. So he's more of a knockout puncher. Banks undefeated, but only four knockouts for him. So that tells me he's not a big puncher. Well, right now he's, it's, it's as though he's not a puncher at this point. But he's gonna have to get busy. You really don't want to spot Alexi Zubov too many rounds if you're going to depend on going to the scorecard. Not to mention, if this keeps up, we will not, we certainly won't see 10 rounds. If, if, if something doesn't change, and I do mean in a hurry for Brother Banks here, 313 in front of his hometown crowd, but, but at the same time, Brother Zubov is at home as well. As you see, he is a crunk man. Uh oh, there's a right, there's the right there. Okay, but no, retaliation from Zubov, right hand, Zubov, right to the mouth, left hand to the mouth. But again, Zubov, again, in and out, really dictating the pace of the fight. And clearly a man of his size with a significant reach and, and really putting that on display as well. As when you see the precision, he's been efficient, he's been calculated, and he's certainly been, you know, more than deliberate on everything he's wanted to put together. And I'm talking and speaking clearly about Mr. Zubov. There's a right wow. hand over the top. After a scoring left jab. Zubov been able to control range, everything. As he finally catches a shot there from Banks. Banks doing a better job at snapping that jab out there. But what he's doing is he, he's become a one-handed fighter. You want to believe that, that, that Banks has some sort of strategy in mind and, and trying to preserve himself, showing you patience. But that certainly won't hold up because the offensive arsenal of Zubov is more than apparent here. Banks corner. Look at this straight Talking rights. Two of them, three of them in a row, Steve. Right hands, Zubov. Banks corner looking for counter punches, but Zubov having none, none of it. Doubled up on the jab just a second ago. Will fire the straight right again. Banks responds. His jab firing, not necessarily contacting though. He'll touch something there. There's another hook though from Zubov. Jab. Right hand. 
There's one, two right there. there. There's Banks now. He'll go low a little bit, though. Left jab Referee. official will step in on that. Referee Ron Cunningham steps in and warns Banks. Pick him up. And so the pace is picked up again by Zubov out of that and an exchange to the forehead right there. Left jab, I, I, I would say. Left hook. Again, now we exchange. Okay. Banks trying to turn it into a street fight. I don't know if that'll be a good idea. And there's the conclusion, round three. Too little, too late in that round for Banks. Like you said, at this point, Steve, not that Banks is in any significant trouble. However, he just has not mounted any semblance of an attack. And he's had to, again, absorb what I would categorize as significant punishment when you start to consider the fact that these are cruiserweights. Yeah. Big boys, as we mentioned, we've been looking at the, the smaller faction up to this point here at the Detroit Ball. Shout out, Salida Promotions. Fine job. Thank you, everyone at Fight Time. Round four, back to work. Alexi Zuboff, Demetrius Banks, Detroit's own. Fourth round, we haven't heard much from Banks. It's been a dominant performance from Zuboff. Reaching Banks again. lunging. Certainly, Steve, he doesn't want to start to tinker with situations that create uh, imbalance, as, as we've seen how costly that can be prior to this fight tonight. If you're Banks, you certainly don't want to get into this looping, lunging things as he right there gets into an exchange. Fires off the jab, looks nice right now. No, no not at all, because, you know, Zuboff has the, the arm reach over him. So what, what Banks is going to have to do, he's going to have to find a way to get inside. Easier said than done with the much taller man. But there, but being Zuboff on, walks into the left jab. But being on the outside of Zuboff's punches, not going to bowl well for him. There's a big right hand over the top for Banks. But it just seems like his, his situation is, is one of a random nature, Steve. It, it, it's not like it's, it's complete confidence when he does load up and fire something significant. It's almost as though he's not sure about it. Speaking of Banks here, as Zuboff starts to stalk his man again. Left jab, followed by the right, followed by another left jab to the throat. Left jab. Alexi Zuboff, looking textbook right now. Oh my goodness, with that left hook, that'll send you over into the row, closest to the ropes. Zuboff continued to pressure his opponent, smothering Banks. Takes a jab for that. Every time Banks goes straight back, Zuboff makes him pay. Certainly correct. That time, though, Zuboff pays the price for getting a little bit too close. Hear the, the cries from Banks' corner. They need him to be busier. They, they need want him to be busier. Exactly. Zuboff lands the left, leads with that left and scores. The bank's trying to load up, but again, very random, Steve, with that approach. Not sure how far you can get. Can't really put anything together because, again, the pressure, yeah, uh, constant. Zuboff is a seasoned fighter, and he's going to continue to put the pressure on. Kind of reminds you of... Uh, Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> True indeed. <laughs> He's got yes. some Gronk if, in If Gronk was boxing, ladies and gentlemen, you could be getting a glimpse right now in one Alexei Zubov hailing from Magna Magnagorsk. 
Russia, Steve. I wanted to I wanted to take a shot at that. Okay. Russia. That's good enough for me. <laughs> And Gronk from the dwelling Gronk. amongst us here in the 3-1-3. <laughs> Demetrius Banks having a tough time, though, with Zubov tonight. Well, what, what you're starting to see in the Zubov corner is they're starting to egg their fighter to throw punches and punches. So let's look for that here in this fifth round. If Zubov listens to his corner and starts to punch in bunches, Round five now, halfway point of this contest. It's 10 rounds in the cruiserweight division. You've got Alexei Zubov dominant thus far over the hometown man, Demetrius Banks. But I will say, both men sort of at home. Brother Zubov just hails from Russia. A nice shot, right hand. And now Banks are getting here in exchange. Hands flying. Well, Banks is starting, he's starting to throw more punches. And when Zubov gets hit, He's get, he gets hit when he only throws one punch. That's what his corner was talking about in between rounds, to throw combinations, and you're, now you're starting to see him. Alexi Zubov. Showing you a, a, a very charismatic approach. Confident. Banks still needs to mount something to enforce retaliation that's to be respected. Thus far, hadn't really done that. Now we'll tie up. Official will say enough with the nonsense. Let's fight, please. This is on fight time. We don't do that here. So if you zoom off, Steve, do you want to keep this fight, though, in the middle of the ring? As, as, as we have seen a, a good portion of this tonight, though, is, do you want to keep that there to just set your man up? Because Banks doesn't give you any reason not to continue if, if with I'm, your intent. If I'm Zuboff, I'm continuing to do exactly what I'm doing. But what, if I'm Zuboff, I'm going to throw punches and combinations more because you're able to dictate the pace of the fight. You back up, Banks. When you quit punching, it's when Banks start to throw those one shots. And there's another one, as you say that, Steve. I like that. Do it again. As his corner requests a repeat. Zubov, there it is again. That left hook has been a problem. Every time he's landed that tonight, is it is pedaled. Big right Banks hand. back. Another big right hand, as you mentioned, Steve. Banks looks like he's starting to get tired. Banks wants to box. But you can't. Now Banks wants to break. <laughs> is, what, <laughs> is what I'm seeing at this point. Zuboff starting to zero in. Look at him. I get the sense that Zuboff is certainly confident he can, he can finish his man, though. He, uh, since he, he looks like he wants a stoppage here, and Banks has got to retaliate in a way that suggests that will not be happening here, but right now we haven't seen much. Contrary to what the Banks corner thinks, I don't think Zuboff really is affected by the punching power of Banks because he's kind of done what he wanted to do. This, this round, he started to punch more in combinations. He's, in my opinion, he's pitching a shutout. Halfway point is where we are now. That was five rounds in the books. A shutout thus far for Alexei Zuboff, the man out of the Crunk gym, putting it on display. But you'd expect that. The fighters from Crunk, you know what that is. Detroit, thank you very much again having us here tonight. Masonic Temple is the location. Savvy Sinclair, Steve Taylor, Paper Stream, 188 countries. Five Roku, Hulu, Apple TV, all of it. Oh, yes, please believe it. So, Steve, now, I'm not sure what you can say that you haven't said already, but, I mean, if, if you're Banks right now uh, at the halfway point, uh, and see, when you walk out without the mouthpiece, and there's an indicator, yeah, that and I'm tired. concerned now. Yeah, yes, I'm concerned. Tired. I'm very concerned now. As we move into round six, Demetrius Banks enters it without the mouthpiece, has to return to acquire it. And if he's not careful, we'll have it knocked out soon. 
by Zuboff. Look at him right there. Time that up. Got in there. Nice little hook, short range. He's going to have to let his hands go. If you're Banks, you, you, you've got to let your hands go. I mean, he's content with keeping that one hand low. He's got his left hand low, and he's trying to shoot that jab. But you're throwing one punch at a time. Oh, and there's a right hand, very solid, as he walks into that from Zuboff. And now the jab of Alexei Zuboff starting to take its toll. Left hook, straight right. One two from Banks, but to no avail. Another one two from Zuboff. There's a one two from Banks, though. Step back. And Zuboff still walking ahead. Yeah, you know, again, it's they're they're fighting at Zuboff's distance. Banks has to close that distance. Combinations flowing right now. Left hook, oh my. And that has been there all night, Steve. And that one got his attention. It certainly did. He is feeling that one. Reluctant to say that Banks is hurt, but Banks is certainly not quite like he was when the oh, fight yeah, started. It, absolutely. But when you Look at this, oh my. Look at this double up with the jab over the top with the right. And Zubov has this man in prime position right now. And Banks... It's got to be, at minimum, slightly dizzy. Well, you seem tired now. now. Now you see him starting to breathe with his mouth open. A straight right could be a serious complication for Banks at this moment. Let's see. Here, here is where the inexperience comes in. Because he's a seasoned fighter, man, a go to the ropes. You remember the James Tony fight? Yeah. Tony, man just sat back on the ropes and led his opponent to come to him and he picked his shots right. and he pot shot it and he rested at the time. These are the type of things that savvy, pardon the pun, fighters do. No problem, I accept. But here's this, you like this? Look at this from Banks. A few signs of life, but Zuboff would say, oh, no, no, no. Oh, and there's another mouthpiece on the ground. Well, it was Zuboff's mouthpiece that came out in that last exchange. So you like that energy from Banks right no, there. Excuse me, showing, Banks you, showing you some life. Banks said it's okay. He's still here, letting us know here at ringside. He's still here. Oh. Yeah, this is all. We almost had it. We're, 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 we're talking about a spent fighter right now. Certainly, perhaps a nice tactical maneuver, and there he is. Left, right, right out of the mouthpiece application, but there's Zuboff. Shorten the distance, bell rings, that's the end of six, and um, this has not been a contest thus far, Steve. All right, it's been a one-man show right now, and Alexi Zuboff well on his way to going 15 and 0. Or, for, or 15 and 1, rather. 15 and 1, absolutely. Well, we appreciate your time, Planet Earth, being with us for another Fight Time Live Voyage. Certainly honored and privileged to bring it to you, as always, what we call the paper stream. Get used to that, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new day in terms of cyber. And we do this all the time. Oh, yes, it extends to concerts and such, but right now, pugilism is the focus. As always, at fight time, boxing is what we're doing tonight. Round seven, underway. Alexi Zuboff bidding command. 60-54 is what we got it scored, if you're keeping track with us at home. Steve Taylor's been pretty accurate all night, ladies and gentlemen. There's a one-two from Zubov. We see if Steve can keep the streak going. Banks is not really making it that much of a trivia situation. That's for sure. As he takes a, a shot again with that left jab. Oh, my. Oh, Six. Six. Yeah, he's starting to cover up. Nice uppercut. They tried to sucker him into that uppercut. 
He's gonna get warned for that low blow. But Zuboff picks right back up where he left off. Goes low, does Banks, and still continue to pump the jab now. Zubov over the top with his right. Right hand from Banks. Hook from Banks. Jab, fire, Zubov. Banks on the run. Managed to slip. Left jab again. Zubov still consistent. Jab, the close range. Banks is certainly in too close a range, but you got you have that reach from the taller man. Yeah. He's trying to pot shot and hoping that his opponent walks into something. But Zuboff doing a good job and just, just continue to pressure the attack. Showing you the patience. Alexi Zuboff giving you the seasoned fighter right here, ladies and gentlemen. That one, two, was serious. That right shot to the ribs was certainly one of Zap. Look at that right one-two there. And we felt the sweat here. Oh, another jab. Follows up with the left jab. Zubov has, has Banks in, in, in what we like to call issue territory. This is certainly a territory of issues. Banks will try to put some hop in his step. But Zubov unconcerned. Look at this work here off the interior. Double hook game. Go low with it. Comes back upstairs. Now the jab situation. Oh my goodness, the that uppercut followed by the combination game. And Zubov is busy, and there goes your round. That's seven of them, ladies and gentlemen, and things have not changed. Ten points keep going to the man with the gold trunks. Yeah, exactly. My sentiments, exactly. Oh. 70-64. It's been all Alexi Zubov. Fine programming here tonight from the Masonic Temple, ladies and gentlemen. Fight Time Live. This is what we do. Make sure you download the app in case you came in through the website, www.gamesavvy. Whoa, it's that serious, Steve. It's that I'm serious. I'm sorry, but you can look up gamesavvy2.tv. Yeah. Fight Time. Fight Time, thank you. My apologies. My brother Khalif Shears. Appreciate you. It's all good. All good. It's all good, isn't it, Steve? Corporations. Entrepreneurship. We stress that around here. Here we are, round eight, ladies and gentlemen. Back to business. Alexi Zuboff. Demetrius Banks. Left jab still pumping right now for Zuboff. Combination work from Zubov. You've seen it all night. There it is again. Strong right hands there on the ropes. Banks will move off him. Back to the center of the ring. Uh, you know, these are one of those performances that when you talk to Banks after the fight, he'll tell you that I just couldn't get off first. You know? Right. Uh, Clearly uh, the case. Yeah, a lot, a lot of that has to do with Alexi Zubov. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a lot of this work that he's giving you now. Oh my, that straight right hand was straight down the pike, Steve. And Banks in, in some trouble now. Banks in some trouble, another left hook. The young man does have a chin, though. Oh, look at that. Oh my, there's Zubov letting him go. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. He's starting to unload. There's a nice answer there by Banks. And that's the heart there. I'm at home in front of my people. You like this. Show some life, Banks. Well, you know, when you bring that many people to ringside, you better bring a fight. 
Not to mention, we did have the lyrics. There's a right hand walks into that. That certainly made his oral cavity and discomfort. Uh, uh, Zuboff, all business. All business, like you said, Steve. Completely unfazed by any shot he may get in retaliation is Zuboff. They'll get a warning yeah, about uh, yeah. the headbutt. Nice yeah. left hook there. Yeah, over the top right. Referee Ron Cunningham gave him a warning, uh, but I tell you, it wasn't a head. It was that right hand that did it. Left. Left. There's the right. Zubar showing you the patience. Be careful, though. Banks. There's, a, there's a nice. Banks possesses power, though. Sharp right hand. He tried to take away your oath. Banks, both hands dangerously low. And it's really hard to generate any kind of power when your hands are that low because you got to bring them up and through the range. Nice exchange there. Zuboff worked off, brings his man back to the center of the ring. Banks still trying to load up and find his shot. There's the end of round eight. Clearly another situation. Uh, you saw a, a few more signs of life out of Banks. We'll give him credit there. So still here in the fight, but certainly at this point, it must realize uh, what is necessary here to, to have an opportunity to be victorious at this juncture. Yeah, it, you know, it's a tough road ahead for him. I, I mean, right now, you know, he's lost every round. I mean, he has to win by knockout. I, I have it 80-72 right now. Certainly not the position you want to be in. If you're Demetrius Banks with his 9-0 record right now on the line versus Alexei Zuboff with one blemish on his rack at 14-1. But he certainly has looked like the more impressive fighter tonight. And we're looking for some sort of response here from Brother Banks. Time is of the essence as we move into round nine. Jabs, both men. You know, his ring approach, I'm talking about Banks, eerily reminded me of, you remember Purgatory? We did Purgatory. Right. There was a young kid from Toledo, Adrian Wilson. Yes. Who brought no Adrian Will. 17, 18 people down the ringside with me and just never measured up. And after talking to him afterwards, I had I personally advised him to leave like 15 of them behind. His next fight he did that he hasn't lost since. How about that? Well said, Steve Taylor, and, and certainly the proper advisement, I would say. And there's Zuboff continuing to mount a vicious arsenal here versus Demetrius Banks, who still, still showing certain, you he's game. In searching terms for of, answers. Searching right, for answers. Searching for answers. Game fighter in front of his home crowd. Friends and family out here tonight. He catches a serious left hook there on his backup. Pick him up. Another warning for the low glove. Zuboff. That's clash of heads. It's an accidental head, but. And there's Zuboff again, still hooking Banks over the top. Jab again, Zuboff. Followed by a right, and followed that with another left. Still leaning on his opponent here, Banks. Both fighters starting to slow Visibly, down right. somewhat. Visibly fatigued is Banks. Zuboff certainly has his concerns in the stamina area, but you just can't tell it right now. Left again, followed by the right. 
both land. Put something in his face. Stop covering up. Put something in his face. Put something in his face. He ain't got, you ain't got there it. There it is. A nice right yeah. there from Zubov. And we get a nice and there's Zubov shower there. Going back again. Going downstairs. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. He ain't going to shot. Nice work here. Zubov appears to be fine with letting the hands go. And why not at this point? No. Well, almost nine in the books, one to go. Nine of them in the books. I mean, just for whatever reason, let's just give him that round. <laughs> we'll call it, we'll call it <laughs> eight rounds to one. <laughs> <laughs> and that a fine diplomat is Steve Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Please know this. Fight time live, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you also to our good friends at uh, the undercard. You see the fine ring girls, lovely young, young ladies. Well known in in the Michigan area. Yeah, the undercard, big show. They have a podcast. They Goes off weekly. This is the tenth and final round. This final three minutes of this contest. Cruiserweight division, ladies and gentlemen, Demetrius Banks, Alexi Zubov. Let's wrap it up. Nine and zero, oh, fourteen and one. Will Banks acquire his first defeat here tonight? Has not looked very impressive. Has three minutes to make a claim. He's gonna have to let his hands go. He's looking for it. You can't, you can't say he's not looking for it. As you hear the chance at ringside, he wanted to be ugly. Well, they're urging him on. He's going to have to let his hands go. He's got to turn it into a street fight. Yeah. Zubov not exactly the enemy anymore. It's, the, it's this dwindling time count. Well, you know, in, in all fairness to Banks, he did settle down in that last round, and, 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 and I did give it to him. Here's Zubov time, trying to finish the deal here, trying to do it impressive. But he's been impressive the whole night. Certainly has. Look at that left there. Second, oh, one, two, three, four, five. There's a combination that the Zubov comp corner was exuding their fighter to, to, to do. Banks puts together a combination. But Zubov right back to the task. Big right hand by Banks. Answered by a left jab. And there he is. And there's Zubov. Steady. Yeah, and Finishing. You know, he's starting to, uh, Zubov sitting down on his punches. He's throwing punches with bad intentions. When they another land, they're like clubbing oh my, shots. Another right, too. Oh, my. Rights and lefts. Bob Banks took that stumble. Well, that took his legs. Zubov determined, do it again. showing you. Suck it up and do it again. Banks giving you just about whatever he has in the tank. Everything you got. Everything you got in the shot. Everything you got in the shot. Oh, my. Zubov can see the target. That fires a nice right there. Uh, he sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Zubov punching off the break. Banks just trying to escape here. You've never been happier to hear about 10 seconds approaching. And there you have it. 10 rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Fine work. If you're Alexi Zubov there, Demetrius Banks, perhaps not exactly the performance he wanted to leave on this capacity crowd from Detroit, Michigan. 9-0 record. 
dare I say, 91. is in jeopardy at this point, Steve Taylor. 91, and you, I mean, you know, and. Steve Taylor, just, just going to save me the suspense, Steve. Just going to save it. Yeah, yeah. Forgive my diplomacy. I mean, we're trying to do that. United States, we need some diplomatic uh, improvement. So we want to try to do it collectively in any way possible. Thank you for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. 99, 91. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have Steve Taylor as we sit next to the judges. Our man, Pete Trevino. And you, you know, you, you, you know, you see, you see he, he's serious just with that, with that gold jacket, though, Steve. I oh, mean, man, he's got it going now, on. Who, who is, is anybody more fly in this facility than no, that man? No, 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 no. Exactly. Waiting for the judges' cards, which seems like almost like an oxymoron at this yeah, point. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> you hear the disappointment in the... In the Banks camp, and yeah, they certainly wanted to put on a different show. We'll turn it over to Pete Trevino once again. All three judges score this contest 99 to 91 for your winner by unanimous decision, Alexi. Zubov. And certainly no surprise there as Alexei Zubov moves to 15 and 1 tonight. Does it impressively, dominates from start to finish, Steve Taylor. And Demetrius Banks, certainly not the performance he expected to put on in front of his hometown brethren. Not at all. But, uh, you know, it, it was tough for him to try to keep Zubov off of him. Zubov, very aggressive from the start. Fight, and he continued it all the way through. And he gets the victory as we scored it exactly like all the ringside judges. And you continue with the accuracy, sir, as we prepare for our next bout, which is the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what we all came the to see. The two-time Olympic champion that everyone came to see. The pride of Flint, Michigan. Ready to turn out the building. I'm sure the electricity will spark back up here momentarily. Clarissa Shields, ladies and gentlemen, if you were not aware of who the only fighter in history, male or female, to come away with two consecutive gold medals, 2012 and 2016, Steve, respectively, set to take on Again, Sidney LeBlanc tonight out of Louisiana. Don't let the 2-0 and professional record fool you. A lot of experience for this young lady. The amateur campaign was certainly one that was of legendary proportions. I went out there, I gave it everything I had. You know, sometimes we, we, we have situations where we're not, we're not ready. We're not ready. We're not, but a warrior go to war against our lives. You know, what? I, I gave it all I had. I ain't give up. I could have walked away from it and not take it. I took the fight. I'm gonna take every fight. I'll fight it again. You know, the fight can happen at the wrong time for any guy. Hats off to Alexa, he was the better man tonight. I mean, he wanted to get me out of here, but you can see. From the first round, I ain't had no legs for whatever reason. But I come, I represent my city hard and strong, and I'm still rep regardless of what you think. It's always going to be with determination. We back to the drawing board, baby. Just learn this game. Let's go. Well, if you can create a silver well, lining out of nothing, he certainly did that. A politician maybe is his bag. Well, brother, I can tell you this. What can you he tell said, him, Steve? He said he don't know where his legs went. Well, I do. Yeah. They went to they went to Russia. That's where they went. They, is it is it more? Now this is the first time I'll tell you about uh monumental first. Yeah. Yeah, How often does the loser, loser get, get the mic the at the end of the fight? <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Brother Trevino. I guess that's that Detroit home cooking for you. What up, though? Ain't that right, Detroit? Ain't that how we do? I guess it we're is. from Detroit, we support you because we're from Detroit, baby. Okay. That's how you do it. Win, loser, draw. Doesn't matter. Not mad you're at home, that. You're away. Not if mad you're at from that. Detroit, we'll support you, baby. True indeed. That was clear. So. With that, we get ready for the main event.